a lot of people are going to be interested in this. Everybody always waits with bated breath for the next uh, iPad, iPhone product. So tell us about the new 4G. Right. So we published a story last night online in the paper today that reporting that Verizon Wireless and AT&T, the two largest car wireless carriers in the U.S., are going to sell the version of the iPad that runs on their latest fourth generation uh, networks. And this sort of marks another stage in the uh, battle between these carriers to sort of, uh, you know, dominate the 4G landscape. And, and Spencer, so does this mean Apple 650? I mean, <laughs> at, at this point, uh, you know, the, the targets for, for Apple, Apple stock <laughs> have gotten pretty outrageous. I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? I can hear yeah, you. It, 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 does this mean Apple at, you know, $650? Oh, well, you know, I don't know about that. You know, there's no, I think that one of the reasons that the stock has been running up uh, uh, quite a bit in the last month or so is because of these reports that are leaking out that Apple is going to announce the iPad in early March. And this is sort of our latest report on it. And so I think, yes, that is one reason the stock is, is running up. Whether it goes to 650 or not, I, I can't say. I'm not a oh, stock I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot <laughs> like that. It's okay. uh, it, 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 you know, 650 is probably, you know, some animal's dream. But um, well, we're looking we at the stock say, right there, over yeah, 500. And there, are and, uh, there are price targets on Apple that are north of $600 right now. There are. There are, in fact. But Spencer, in your story, you know, the AT&T and Verizon uh, with this new 4G, it's going to be running on the LTE networks. Tell us, um, are, is that going to be uh, complicated in terms of slowing down those carriers? Um, is that a good thing? What will it mean for the consumer? Well, for the consumer, it's, it's potentially a really great thing because, uh, you know, Apple does not have any uh, uh, mobile devices that run on 4G networks right now, which are the fastest wireless networks available. So the difference between a 4G and a 3G is, is several times. So 3G gives you download speeds of around 1 to 3 megabytes, and 4G will give you download speeds of 5 to 10 megabytes. So what that means is you'll be able to do uh, video conference on the web much more reliably, and you'll be able to watch long-form videos much more uh, on the wireless web as well. And, Spencer, is there any way to handicap... AT&T versus Verizon, who comes out kind of a winner in this in this battle? Yeah, it's a good question. Well, right now, Verizon has a pretty substantial lead in terms of the footprint of its 4G network. Their current, current network uh, it covers 200 million people in the U.S., and AT&T's 4G network covers about 70 million people. So Verizon's network is three times as large, and, and they're both aggressively building out. But for the near future, Verizon will definitely have a lead in terms of its coverage footprint. All right, Spencer, thank you so much. And, and when should we expect this announcement? Uh, early March is what we're hearing.